Hello and welcome to episode 6 of the No Code series. In the last episode, we had created a brand new citizen development user, Emily Johnson, the name given by our trusty assistant, Chuck. Um, so we have a user ready to be able to impersonate to create a new citizen development request. So I'm going to start the timer and we are going to make a start on that request. So let's switch over to the portal where we got to under Emily and let's apply for citizen development. Ooh, an interesting JavaScript error has appeared. Hopefully that does not scupper our progress when it comes to raising this uh, request. Apply for citizen development. Okay, yep, so we need to fill in some basic details about our app. So uh, application name, I'm just going to say lead management. Boring, I know. I'm sure we can come up with a better name later on down the line. Describe your idea. We do have that description which Chuck gave us, so let's uh, copy and paste that in. Lovely jubbly. Um, here's some more kind of qualifying questions about our app, which I'm guessing will help towards the approval process. Um, is your process repeatable? Uh, yes or no? I'm going to say yes. It will obviously help. The fact that it's repeatable, you're you're solving you know manual um, effort there. Um, do you have an email or Excel based process? Um, I'm going to say no um, at this stage. Maybe it was in a separate system previously. We just want to integrate it into service now. How many users are involved? I would say definitely more than twenty. Will be the whole company. Does it involve any sensitive or PII data? I'm going to say no, even though this is a HR style app but um, clearly is a consideration um, for when it comes to the, the design of this app. So we need to think about that. Do you need data from other departments? Again, I'm going to say no because um, maybe I'm in the HR department and already have all the information that I need. Who are the users that will have access to the data in this application? So I would say all, em all employees um, and managers. So there was no selection of users there. There was no selection also of the development environment. I guess they wouldn't know that anyway. So that kind of makes sense. Maybe there's a lot more to be selected uh, post submission here. So um, I'm going to go to submit. Let's see what happens. Right. So we have a request that has been created. Um, I'm just going to copy the reference there. Let's go back back shall we and impersonate admin again to see what the hell's happened to this request so let's end impersonation and let's do a, a nice quick jump shall we into that request so here we have our request opened by emily johnson it is pending approval so there is a nice flow behind the scenes maybe it was just a scope thing that i couldn't see the flow name, or there's some funkiness going on with the conditions in Flow <laughs> Designer. Um, no, because it's a workflow. Okay, so it's clearly triggered based on some other condition. Um, okay, so we do have a written here for the apply for citizen development. We do have approval at the top level. So clearly, um, actually, let's go and dig a little bit deeper, shall we? Let's, uh, let's have a look at this workflow. So it's triggered the standard workflow. Um, service catalog request. Interesting. Um, so this is gone for approval. This is, well, I hate this because of the the interface needs improved. It's gone to the end on the request approval, but we still do have approval. So let's just see if that's actually on the written, shall we? Let's dig deeper. Ooh. Check intake status. Okay, so we have some other stuff going on here. So this is interesting. So we had some kind of check there. We do have an additional section here for administration that wasn't available to Emily when she uh, raised this request, and rightfully so, because she wouldn't know what instances is being targeted for. Um, so we have a you know PDI uh, instance here, um, clearly it's trying to do some kind of API to say that whether or check to see whether this person exists um, on that on that instance. So um, 
interesting check there. Let's see. Is there? There's no show workflow either off the back of this. So there's no workflow on the written. But there's some funky stuff going on here with this administration. <laughs> so um, you might need to do a bit more digging to find where that flow is or where this, um, you know, configuration is. That's, that's interesting. Um, only a few seconds left. Okay. So approvers, again, not on the written. So the approval is being done on the request only. Although the workflow shows that it's been completed. So... Ooh. There's clearly some tidying up to do <laughs> on this. It's definitely not clear in my mind. Um, but yes, obviously I do have a approval as part of this administrator. I would presume at this stage that they are going in and selecting what the target um, deployment environment is. And let's make sure that the mouse is got battery and we've run out of time but i am just going to finish up with approval of this and see what happens so um i shall approve this idea um i'm also presuming that on rejection it will just kind of go back into the loop um let's see what happens so it does say approve still state of pending approval um clearly there's issues here Or it could have just literally got stuck at this point here as well. So, interesting. Interesting happenings here. Um, can we trick the system by just saying it's approved? <laughs> oh, we've got an additional approval, have we? Okay, right. Back to pending approval. <laughs> So there is clearly an issue here, isn't there? <laughs> a, a flow or workflow based um, problem, perhaps even because of the um, the issue with the connection to uh, that PDI environment. So in the next episode, let's do some digging. Let's go find out to see what's happening with this request. Let's find the flow uh, behind this as well. And let's see what this actually means um, in terms of this overall uh, requests and, you know, giving access to this person, um, development access. So, yeah, we'll follow that on the next one.